Hello guys, welcome to this channel and thanks for viewing this video and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also like this video. And uh, in the previous video, we saw how to use the Java string length method in order to find out the number of characters in the string. And we could also see that the length of the string is represented by the number of characters, including the white spaces contained in that given string. So that means that white spaces in a string, as you can see on the screen here, is also considered to be a character. So when using the length method, it takes into account the white spaces and it counts uh, these white spaces as uh, characters. But in this video particularly, we will see how to count the characters excluding the white spaces in the string. So we will only count the other characters, but whenever our program sees a white space, it's going to give it the value of zero. So it's not going to take it into consideration when determining the length of our string. So this can be possible uh, by using the string replace method together with the length method. So we will replace you know, all the white spaces with a null string. And I will show you um, in the code that we're gonna write right now how to use the replace method and uh, replacing the white spaces into null strings. So here I have my string sentence one, or let me call it sentence, simply sentence like this. And first of all, I wanna show you, I can just do um, a system that out at print line where I'm going to say the length of the string. So this first system that out the print line will output the length of the string uh taking into account the white spaces you know including including the white spaces is equal to so this one we did it in the previous video all i have to do is write the name of my string variable that the method which is length the length method that's it. If I run this, you will see that uh, the length is equal to 13. So the length of the string, including the white spaces, is equal to 13. So now let's do the system that out that print line where it's going to output the length of this given string, uh, excluding the white spaces. So I would do this like this. So I would just write this string in here and I will say the length of uh, the string excluding the white spaces is equal to. So now here how to evaluate the method, how, which statement should we write here. So first of all, we will write the name of our string variable. And then, as I said, we're going to use a replace method. So to use that replace method, we need to write replace. And I also say that we are going to replace white spaces characters into null strings. So white spaces characters are represented by double quotations like this. And inside the double quotations, you just hit your space bar like this. So this space bar is a white space and it's considered to be a character. And uh, the null string is represented by simply typing white uh, double quotation like this. You know, double quotation, you don't put any space in it. So this is a null string. And uh, so after doing that, so what it's doing here is that it's replacing all the white spaces into null strings. So the null string is going to be considered to be zero. And uh, here I will write my length method, just put the brackets like this here. So if I hit, I run this program, we will get uh, here in our console, another line where it's going to say, the length of the string excluding the white spaces is equal to 
11. 11, why 11? Because in this our string, we have uh, two white spaces. The first one between hello and world, and the second one between world and the exclamation mark. Okay, so since when we outputted the length of the string, including the white spaces, it gave us 13. So 13 minus two must give us 11. So let me run this. Yeah, so that's it. The length of the string is cooled in the white spaces is, is equal to 11. Now you can see that it's not taking into consideration the white spaces in our string. So guys, that was it, how you can actually um, find the length of the string excluding the white spaces. So it's simply going to count all the characters except the white spaces in your characters. So you can also do that for other characters. For example, if you want to uh, exclude, uh, you know, E, the character E, for example, you can type, instead of typing a white space in here, you can type the character E and then uh, use it. Uh, so you can just play around it. So guys, uh, that was it. I hope this video was informative and um, please don't forget to like this video, to comment if you have any question um and also to share the video and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel in order to receive updates whenever we publish new videos so guys thanks a lot let's meet again in the next video bye